children as you know magnetic effect is also one of the effect of a electric current in the previous chapter that is electricity we learned heating effect of electric current as you know isn't it children what does it mean what it says it says that when an electric uh, current or electricity is passed to a conductor some amount of energy is utilized in working of that means in performing that whereas rest of the energy what dissipated in the form of a heat and that effect is known as a heating effect of an electric current so what is the meaning of a magnetic effect of electric current then same children here magnetism is going to produce that is how can we define this means when an electric current is passed to a conductor it produces magnetism and that effect is known as a magnetic effect of electric current understand children it's a very simple children magnetic effect of electric current is nothing but a when electric current is passed to a conductor to it produces magnetism and it is called what magnetic effect of electric current children then this can be easily understand by making a simple activity children here in this activity we need to use certain electrical components like a plug key battery ammeter resistor and a straight wire children isn't it what these are all what materials which needed to perform this activity and then after performing this we are going to conclude that a compost needle deflects when an electric current is flowing in the circuit so shall we see how it has to be made children okay the first is we have to connect the a thick straight copper wire across the ends x and y children such that it should be a perpendicular to the plane of paper here a b c d is a what paper for this paper the wire x y should be what perpendicular after making so we have to insert the key isn't it children after inserting the key, key what happened now this becomes what closed circuit so current starts flowing from the battery to the entire circuit isn't it when this is continuous means uh, when electric current starts flowing in this circuit magnetism has produced here then how can we know that whether there has produced magnetism or not so we have to bring a compass near to this isn't it children so when we bring a compass near to this why the compass needle starts deflecting it starts deflecting right or left to children isn't it so when we look at the deflection of the compass needle we can conclude that there exist a magnetism over there isn't it so we can say that due to flow of an electric current in a conductor magnetism is produced and this is nothing but a due to magnetic effect of electric current means the flowing electric current can produce a magnetism isn't it children so we can say that the deflection of a compost needle is due to flow what magnetism property here means the flowing current will produce a magnetism also isn't it so we can say that the electricity and magnetism are related to one another children so what can we say children electricity and magnetism or related 
innocent children so the same concept is used in working of a uh, electric motor electric generators by moving magnets we can see certain effects and also with the help of a uh, when electric current is uh, passed in a circuit all such things we are going to uh, study under this uh, chapter children and you know generally the magnetic effect of electric current are also called as a electromagnetism children electromagnetism good children to understand this activity more clearly let us have a look into small video clip children children let us perform a simple activity in order to understand what happens to the compost needle when it is brought near a current carrying conductor to perform this activity the material which i have used here are compost iron nail then cap and a battery children now let us see what happens when i close the cap see children as soon as i close the cap the current from the battery started flowing into the wire then the same current starts flowing into the nail isn't it children so we can say now that the current exists in this part isn't it now what happens we will see when we bring a compost near to the nail means we can say that this is a current carrying conductor now for that current carrying conductor if we bring compost needle near to that means the pointer means the needle compost needle started deflecting children are you observing children can you looking this the compost needle started deflecting children it means that from this activity it is clear that the current carrying conductor produces a magnetism because of that reason the compost needle started deflecting understand children so children after looking into the video we can conclude that when an electricity flows in a electric circuit the compost needle started deflecting it is due to what due to the generation of a magnetism over here means we can say that the flow of an electric current can produce magnetism so we can say that children a magnetic effect of electric current can also be called as a electromagnetism this was first stated by hans christian oersted hans christian oersted in the year 1820 isn't it children he was accidentally found that when a current carrying conductor is uh, placed across the circuit and uh, the compost needle started deflecting children and by this he he said that due to flow of an electric current uh, there can also exist one magnetism around it and uh, further it, this concept has led into uh, discovery of uh, uh, new things children like uh, radio fiber optics then in television all such concepts were widely used isn't it children this concept uh, across radio in on tv then fiber optics the same concept has used means electromagnetism means the components which are mainly working on a electromagnetism have comes from means was idea first given by what whom hans christian oersted okay children the concepts are clear then i hope you are familiar with the now concept what is mean by compost and what is mean by compost needle isn't it a compost is a instrument which is made with the glass material and it consists of a center a needle and it is called what compost needle isn't it children and what this uh, compost needle actually is means it's a made with a small bar magnet and it consists of a two faces children means two sides the one side is called as a north seeking point or north pole means the point which is towards the north and it is called as a north pole whereas the other end 
द एंड विच इज पॉइंटिंग टूवर्ड्स द साउथ इज कॉल्ड एज अ साउथ सिकिंग पॉइंट और अ साउथ पोल गुड इट चिल्ड्रन एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव स्टडीड दैट द सेम साइड्स विल डू रिपल्शन वेर आज द अपोजिट एंड दे डू अट्रैक्शन विद दिस सम बेसिक नॉलेज Now we will understand more about magnetic field means what and magnetic field lines means what. Children, let us make a small activity. To perform that, we need to take a bar magnet, isn't it? And a iron fillings. What we have to do? We have to place the bar magnet at the center of the paper, white paper. You have to take and at the center, you have to place the bar magnet. After placing that. You have to pour iron fillings over it. So when you pour the iron fillings, they start aligning themselves in one particular pattern, isn't it, children? You want to see how they will uh, occupy or the align themselves? Okay, now watch a small video clip, children. Children, let us perform one more activity in order to understand magnetic field means what and also magnetic field lines means what. to perform this activity the materials needed are bar magnet iron fillings and a drawing sheet or paper isn't it children and the drawing sheet or a paper should be placed on a, a table or play wood children here after taking the paper we have to place the bar magnet at the center of it children now with the help of a sprinkler or the iron fillings has to pour on the bar magnet looking children we are pouring on a bar magnet the iron fillings isn't it see children as soon as we have sprinkled the iron fillings over the bar magnet they have occupied some pattern means they have aligned themselves into a one particular pattern you know what is the reason to take this pattern because the bar magnet or the magnet exerted its influence in the region surrounding it and because of that the iron fillings have experienced a force and therefore the force such exerted makes the iron fillings to take this pattern children so we can say that the region surrounding the magnet where its influence can be detected means the force can be detected isn't it children and it is called magnetic field you know children here the iron fillings are attracting towards the ends of the magnet why did they so children here because there is a force and that force is called what here magnetic field means the region surrounding the magnet where the force can be detected and it is called what magnetic field then they have aligned means they have taken some particular pattern isn't it children and the lines or the pattern is called as a magnetic field lines is it children the concept is clear magnetic field and magnetic field lines means what here because of that reason the iron fillings near the bar magnet have aligned themselves along the magnetic field lines here all magnetic field lines is there because of that the iron fillings have taken some pattern got it children now children after looking into the video we found that when we pouring that is as soon as you pour the iron fillings they will start aligning themselves in one particular pattern isn't it children you know what is the reason behind that the reason is that children the magnet exerts its influence in the region surrounding it means they it is exerting its influence in the region surrounding it children isn't it here the bar magnet surrounding this region is called what here magnetic field isn't it so thus iron fillings they are going to experience a force because of that force they will start uh, attracting towards the bar magnet isn't it children because some force is dragging them and making attraction towards the ends 
isn't it so we can say that the magnet exerts its influence in the region surrounding it thus the iron fillings will experience a force because of that force they are aligning themselves is the concept clear children yes i the region surrounding the magnet in which the presence of the magnet can be detected is called magnetic field now are you understanding children magnetic field means what the reason surrounding a magnet in which the force of the magnet can be detected isn't it children then magnetic field lines means field lines these are nothing but the the lines or pattern represent the magnetic field is called what magnetic field lines isn't it children see here due to the force how this force has generated here because of the presence of a magnet means there is a magnetic field around the magnet and that has made a force here and due to that force the iron fillings are attracting towards the bar magnet and the alignment see children you are finding some pattern here isn't it something called a curves you can find and this crowded curves is nothing but a, the lines or part of represents the magnetic field is called the magnetic field lines i children there are also some other methods of obtaining magnetic field lines okay shall we see now those children to perform this activity we need a bar magnet children such that the north pole and south pole should be kept in this way okay after placing the bar magnet on a drawing sheet or a white paper you have to bring a compass near to this see children what is this this is a bar magnet we are going to bring a one the compass isn't it children such that the south pole of the compass should be towards the north pole of the bar magnet clearly understand children this is a bar magnet and it have a north pole this side and a south pole here isn't it and for this bar magnet we are bringing the compass needles south point towards the north pole of the bar magnet and whereas we have to place what the north pole after looking into this we can say that the south pole is towards the north pole whereas the north pole of the compass is directed away from the north pole of the bar magnet because these two are safe so repulsion takes over here isn't it now we have to mark there got it children now we need to change the position of the compass somewhere we have to keep that such that the previous north pole should be a what now south pole of the compass isn't it previously here it was north now we, when we change the position of the compass the south pole of the compass should come at north pole isn't it then you will find what north like that you have to repeat you have to mark and you have to change the positions every time until you reach what up to the south pole of the 
bar magnet at that time you will find what the north and uh, that is uh, north pole of the compass is towards the south pole of the bar magnet this is how we will see here now it becomes south and this becomes north isn't it children now this will become south and this will become north and similarly this now south and this is what north and here this south and this is what north like this every time we have to change the position and the previous poles will become so now what uh, the opposite one isn't it initially it was if uh, south means now it becomes the north okay until up to how much you have to do like that marking children until you reach the south pole of the bar magnet then after this you have to mark all these points children isn't it what you have to do children you have to mark all these points so this will clearly gives us that the magnetic field line is a curve it's a closed curve we can say children now repeat the same procedure by drawing as many lines as you can possible and children imagine this is a bar magnet isn't it and you will get the curve you will get children isn't it means outside the magnet the direction of the magnetic field is from north to south this is what upside downside also children isn't it then whereas inside the magnet the direction of the magnetic field is what from south pole to north pole these arrows represents children the direction of the magnetic field is it children the mag uh, how the magnetic field lines look like they are closed curves isn't it children the, they are what closed curves we can say and in general the magnetic field is a vector quantity children the magnetic field is a vector quantity means it have both direction and the magnitude children it have magnitude and direction is it children the concepts are clear yes the magnetic field and the magnetic field lines or uh, in this way we can find children here Uh, this direction will represents the magnetic field, and whereas the pattern or the lines, you can say them as a magnetic field lines. Now we will see, children, the properties of a magnetic field lines. Children, now we will uh, discuss about the important properties of a magnetic field lines. And after looking into the picture, we can conclude that by conventional method. the direction of the magnetic field lines it will uh, takes place from the north pole to south pole so outside the bar magnet the direction of the magnetic field lines originate or emerges from north pole and merge at south pole whereas inside the bar magnet they are from south to north pole see children the direction will represent outside the bar magnet they are from north to south whereas inside these rays representing inside inside the bar magnet they are moving from south pole to north pole thus by this we can say that the magnetic field lines are closed curves magnetic field lines or what children they are closed curves isn't it children as then we can find that two magnetic field lines any two magnetic field lines never intersect each other children means imagine this is one magnetic field line isn't it then one more 
field line. The meaning of the property is that children the same here. Never two magnetic field lines intersect each other. Means they are not meeting at a point. Because if they do so means the compost needle should give a two direction which is highly impossible. Isn't it children? So each magnetic field can be obtained means confirm that the compost needle at that point will give what one particular direction. So never or any two magnetic field lines never intersect each other. If they do so means at that point they should give a two direction which is not possible by the compass. Isn't it children? And also the relative strength of the magnet can be obtained due to the that is degree of how much closeness they are. Isn't it children? That's why children at the polarities the force of attraction will be more. Isn't it? So the relative strength of the magnet, uh, magnetic field lines can be obtained by the degree of the how much closeness they are. Is it children? The concepts are clear? Yes, the properties of a magnetic field lines are very, very important children. You have to learn and practice this very carefully and you have to become thorough with this. Isn't it? Outside the magnet, uh, they will originate from North Pole to insect, uh, sorry, em emerge at South Pole, whereas inside they will move from South Pole to North Pole. And no two magnetic field lines cross each other. If they do so means at that point they should give a two direction which is not possible isn't it and moreover what the magnetic field lines are closed curves and the relative strength of the magnetic field lines can be obtained by the degree of a, how much closeness they are is it children is the concept so clear so children in today's class we learned what is mean by magnet isn't it and what are its type and then after that we have studied about magnetic field means what magnetic field lines means what isn't it children and uh, also we have studied the properties of a magnetic field lines isn't it okay children read thoroughly